Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the scope. And now, here are your hosts, Jared, Adam, and Shane. Hey everybody, welcome to a special scope. It's episode 323. We're releasing it back to back with uh, episode 322 from last week. It'll be a continuation of our scope dope or scope nope summer flavors. That strangely uh, abrupt cliffhanger yeah. episode. Yeah, what well, happened, I'll, Shane? Well, I, you know, as you know, I got my gallbladder removed. Yeah. Um, and then just like, I actually, just like over the break. Yeah, and then I got actually got a message on my phone saying there was a donor, oh, organ donor for my new gallbladder. So I had to run wow. off and get it. Wow, nice. Uh, nice. You, like, need, you know, the place police station has like like that lighted place where you can do like marketplace handoffs and stuff like that. Is that where it took place? It's absolutely. And the other problem, it was just full of stones. So I'm right back to where <laughs> I started. <laughs> It's like that scene in The Godfather. It's like, I try yeah. to get on, they pulled me back they in. They pulled me back in. So I'm back. I've, you know, doubled up on the scars. The robotic surgery uh, didn't work so well for me. So I'm going to do my best um, with my new and unimproved gallbladder to sample these foods right along with you guys. Oh, boy. But we've got a good list of stuff. Um, I'm excited to get into it. So how about this? Since it's a bonus show, we're not going to give that much bonus content. Let's just get right to the meat of it. So let's take a quick break. We'll be back with part two. <laughs> We're going to get to the meet after this break. <laughs> after this break. All right, look, I came out a little hot last time, so I just wanted to like slow roll this one a little bit. All right. I know I've been asking a lot. We need your money. It's like a pledge drive at the uh, public television station. We can only do it with supporters like you. We don't have any tote bags to offer. All we have is our voices and our uh, very refined palates and possibly that lovely cat that just walked in behind Shane. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked, he just popped right in just to say hi. Get so in if spot you want... There. If, if, if what we offer is enough for you and you feel like you want to financially support the show, because, you know, these these treats, they, they cost money. Patreon.com slash the scope show. That's the place to do it. What's he doing over there? What's he doing? You're just He's, pointing uh, out. I, I, so I have this little uh, lap pad oh. from Ikea, you know, with the bean mm-hmm. bags and the hard top. I I'm sorry, it. Shay. We don't have time. Patreon.com oh, okay, slash the scope show for more sorry. information. I guess we had a little time. We are back. We're going to finish off our scope taste test, summer flavors edition, scope dope, scope nope. Um, just to recap, last week we went through Lay's BLT, that's a dope. Mountain Dew Passion Fruit, that's a nope, but a, a weak nope. Uh, Cotton Candy Oreos, big time dope. And then the Icy Cereal, uh, Adam was personally offended by it. <laughs> That was a note. Wow. So we went. F- it was a 50 50 split. Uh, today we've got five more items to sample. Not everybody has everything, so that might affect things, but let's do our best, shall we? Um, let's do it. Let's start with one of the other two summer Oreo flavors that uh, came out uh, during the dog days. Uh, let's start with that. Oh, let me see. Black cake, blackout cake Oreos. Let me get the package here. Dog days. Hold hold that up. Dog days are back. So Oreo blackout cake chocolate. Oh, this is a different. This is a difficult one. (laughs) Oreo blackout cake chocolate sandwich cookies are the classic original snack cookies you've always known and loved, Adam. But with the unforgettable twist, Mm. these sweet treats feature a dual layer of chocolate cake flavor cream and dark chocolate cake flavor cream between two Oreo chocolate cookies making them perfect for chocolate lovers. I think they said chocolate 18 times in that sentence. They want you to really know. Nabisco needs oh to work goodness. on the marketing. So 
let's open this bad boy up and take a look at it. And these definitely are. Oh my goodness! I mean, this. It and you know I'm what? getting oh strong chocolate cake vibes out yeah, of this. Yeah, it, oh. it, it, it doesn't just smell like a chocolate cookie, Adam. It Sorry to be so graphic, like chocolate folks. cake, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Yeah. And I'm noticing that 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 they've now obviously they didn't tool out the machines just for the cotton candy to do the double dollop of yeah. cream. They're, this is they're, a little different though because it's a stack double dollop. Sure, but maybe they've got a configuration somehow. But they're they're definitely um, they're using that technology for other oh, flavors. And I'm taking good. a sneak peek, taking a sneak peek, and uh, that may come may come around again. We'll it see. definitely has the uh, chocolate cookie that you two oh seem God. to love the most. So let's impressive. get into it. I am. Oh, just the smell alone has got me intoxicated over here. Okay. Okay. We'll take a bite intact to start. Wow. That is decadent. I'm writing down my results for me. <laughs> writing down for the official ledger. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll start. I mean, I've got. I've, Go ahead. It. I've got an opinion. I'm on. I'm on record as saying the original Oreos are fine for me. It was never my favorite snack cookie. Um, and I was thinking, boy, this is going to be kind of like chocolate Oreos because they've had those before, where it's just chocolate cream. Mm -hmm. Um, but this lives up to its name. I mean, that the cream in there definitely has a cakey feel to it, whether it's cakey frosting or the actual mm. cake itself. Mm -hmm. And it is pretty decadent, mm. and it's really good. I mean, it's a solid Oreo, and another one. So two out of three so far that we've sampled this summer, for me anyway, this one is a solid scope dope for me. Adam? I don't like it. Wow, what? How do you feel about chocolate in general? I like I like chocolate. Okay. I like chocolate Oreo. I like normal Oreos, like I said. Explain yourself. Um okay, here's here's my guess. The icy cereal from two weeks ago broke my taste buds. Wow. That's fair. That stuff was something else. He's going for another bite. Maybe that. I still have that passion for no. There's something a couple weeks ago. Something I don't like about it. Really? Yeah. I'm dying for some articulation on that front. It, it don't taste good to my mouth. <laughs> there you go perfect. I love it. Yeah, I don't know. Don't? I don't know. I, I I get that I should. Um, it's not bad. It's so. just not what I want. Adam, what I want you to do is go to oreo.com slash blackout dash cake. And after you've accepted their cookies, I want you to go to the review section. I'm accepting their cookie right now. And I want you to, yeah, but actually they're computer cookies. Accept those. And then you can give yourself a nickname. I encourage you to use your full legal name here because they want, you know, accurate accounting of, of reviews. And I want you to write in the review, no taste good in my mouth hole. <laughs> Just like you said on the out. show. <laughs> Okay. I think I think I think I is that what you said? No taste good in my mouth hole, essentially. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Because right. there's a lot of positive reviews of this, and I think that I think it needs to be taken down a notch. Jared, no, not you for see me. When I go here, right. there's not for add, me because are you add to that positivity. Jared? I am not. Uh, look, I have been practically orgasmic about this from the point I opened the bag. So for me to come out and give it a devastating takedown is definitely not going to happen that'd be against this, brands at this point this is an exceptional cookie in my book this gives me cake scent and flavor i appreciate the double dollop of creams and this is an all right all around all, all, all around great experience in the in the oreo market and i would easily eat entire package of these if they were available to me and i wasn't afraid of the consequences done so i'm they're very down good so Dope, Jared. So what does that and I mean? I think that's two to one. So that means... Yeah, scope dope. Sorry, Adam, but there is a forum online for you to voice your opinion, if you don't mind. I, uh, I'm, <laughs> uh, I am trying to. 
Well, he's I, I have submitted a review, and it must go through an approval process because there are four know. pages of of yes. All right, so I uh, somebody just, just says best damn Oreos. Period. That is uh, reviewed by Bam. Bam said on April third, best damn Oreos. Period. Now, Shane, you said this is a a um a summer flavor, or is this yeah, just they have, happen- like they have, they've got three limited edition flavors for the summer, and this is the second one. Yeah, Bam reviewed it in April. Well, maybe it's like late spring, early summer. So not really a summer flavor, but just happens to be a limited, limited edition and I assume that during this be. time period. Yeah. So if it's not too late, I say go find yourself a package of blackout cake, flavor cream Oreos, limited edition. Very available via Instacart, according to the website. They're still Except the cookies, there. they're good. A cookie site with cookies. The irony. It runs Beautiful. deep. All right, let's move on to the next thing, guys. Uh, last week. We sampled uh, one of two Mountain Dew Baja my, uh, flavors. My shack shimmy. We're back <sighs> with the Baja Caribbean or Caribbean Splash. It's a blast of natural and artificial guava flavor. Vacation mm. in a bottle. This now, Shane, got- you've traveled to this region. Is it pronounced locally Caribbean or Caribbean? I think it's Caribbean. Okay. I'm just curious. But I don't know. Um, this is a pretty looking soda, isn't it, Adam? It's pink. It's inviting. The label's nice. 280 calories. We love that. <laughs> Opening 74 this grams is, of sugar uh, again. This is, this is another tropical fruit flavor that I probably don't know if I know yeah. I've ever had it on its own. Now, Shane, as a, as a world traveler, you've no doubt sampled the world's finest I've, guavas. I've probably sampled this, yes. And by the way, it's it has gu- a very... Gu- it's guavai, by the way. It has oh, a it very a similar sour smell to the passion fruit. There's like the we're sour. The, I'm vamping, but we're pat, we're at the opening phase. I forgot to open mine, and I just it splashed on my hand a little bit. I'm not sure if I like that from an experiential standpoint. Yeah. A little disappointing. You know what but, I'm talking about? That sort of weird sour spoiled smell. It has spoiled? that. Yeah, not spoiled. It's just like it's weird. There's a it's maybe. Like a pungenty type of thing that comes with this sort of stuff. Like you got some sort of open food in your fridge and you're like, yeah, how I, I don't know. This? I don't I'm not sure. I'm going to give us a little sniff test. It's on the edge, but I think I'd still consume it. Here we go. Oh. Oh. I'm almost getting like a leafiness in the middle. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, by the time Mountain Dew is done, they will actually have leaf flavored oh. soda. It almost finishes a little bitter, which is surprising. I don't know. All right. Um, while you guys are sipping, I'll start this one off too. I mean, I think it's in the same wheelhouse as the passion fruit, except it's, you know, the the soda itself is sweeter and less flavor. It's just more sweet. And... I don't I don't think there's nothing exceptional about this. This this is mediocre Mountain Dew flavor at best. It doesn't it doesn't differentiate itself from anything in my opinion and it's a solid nope for me. Yeah, I don't really get it, I think. Yeah, I don't get um, it. I don't get it. It You know what it's like I agree that the smell is very similar and part of the taste is very similar to the passion fruit, but like the pa- passion fruit has like a sweetness to yeah. it. There's something um, different and like, better about it. Yeah. Where this, um, this does not. Yeah. It's not great. Jared, do you agree with uh, us? I, I, I don't love it. And I think we were on the record as far as uh, what we think a high quality Mountain Dew experience should be. I don't know that this is it. This isn't bad per se. I think uh, if I'm going to contrast this with the other one we had earlier, uh, I feel like this is a little less sweet, though not markedly so. It is a little less sweet. I think maybe in the flavor department, it's a little less flavorful. However, I th- I did think there was an, a kind of an interesting flavor journey you go on like it's very sweet and fruity up the front there is that sort of vegetal phase in the middle in my opinion and then it kind of finishes with a little bit of bitterness at least on the first taste i don't know that subsequent tastes uh, take you on quite the same journey but um 
I give it points for that experience. Uh, it's not something that I'm going to ever reach for again, other than the times I attempt to make another dent into this bottle. But I, I definitely will not seek out another bottle of this. I just did a back and forth from last week's do to this one. Yeah. It's like, what's the point on either of these? <laughs> yeah, I, th- I do think I like the passion fruit overall better. But, you know, whatever. So these are both these are both in the Baja family of yeah, this uh, Baja family is the boo hoo yeah. as far as I can. So say. altogether, I think this is a scope. No. Go. There you go. Nope. Thumbs down from us. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a choice on the next item. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do sweet or do you want to do salty? Mm. So if we were already been in the sweet family, we've just had a sweet cookie and a sweet drink. If we go sweet, chances are it's either going to dull the response to the sweet or, or we could go with the salty item and have what I experienced last time where I tried to reset my palate with a salty item after a sweet and I had just a, a bit of a time with it. Um, since this is all about sharing our experiences, I feel like we need to go salty. All right. Well, Adam, I think you're out on this one. <laughs> I got there in the end. You're out on this one, Adam. So we're going to the other Lay's um, limited edition flavor. It's the Lay's Wavy Cuban mm-hmm. Sandwich. Cuban so, Sandwich. What's on a Cuban Sandwich? Here? So if we look at a Cuban Sandwich, you've usually got some sort of pork. You've got yep. pickles. You've got yep. a mustard. You've got a yep. cheese. Usually like it, a stone ground mustard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this doesn't actually tell you, it doesn't give you any sort of flavor profile on the bag, but the, they? but the, really? uh, the, the write up from their website says, uh, the Lay's wavy Cuban sandwich combines the traditional flavors of pork and cheddar cheese in a fresh take on a classic sandwich. So there we go. We've got wavy chips. I'm going to sniff, do the sniff test right away. Uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, question their choice of cheddar cheese with the Cuban sandwich. I yeah, don't know I don't that know I've ever cheddar. had cheddar cheese on a. Uh, I think Swiss is maybe the more uh, appropriate yeah. choice. And you, you're a Swiss connoisseur. Mm. Also, but that's kind of weird, Cuban. I don't know. Okay. So I think you're going to find Jared that your your sniff no, Swiss test, is the appropriate choice. Okay. The sniff test is going to be limited, right? Hmm. It's like what it, am this, I getting off of this? This full bag, you might there might be a little bit oh. of pork, a little bit of pork in there. I'm getting strong pickles off of this. Oh, you are? Mm-hmm. Very pickly. Okay. Well, there should be a pickle component oh. to this. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of mustard, slight pork, but definitely strong pickles. Okay. That's what I'm getting I'm, on my I'm on jealous. My this test. sounds good. You guys should go into business. <laughs> what, just tasting other people's foods? Yeah. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> wow. Shit. Jared's wow! Face. I'm getting extreme dill pickle. On yeah, the, front. the pickle, the pickle flavor hits you right away up front. Mm-hmm. Now me a little mustard, a little pork. I don't know that there's any cheddar. There is maybe like a <laughs> cheesiness. I'm not, I don't. I don't know that I would call it cheddar, but hmm. one more chip and then I'm done. Yeah, this is. Uh, no. No. I've had a few Cuban sandwiches in my day. Mm-hmm. And this is in the ballpark as far as the flavors that I am expecting out of a Cuban sandwich. Maybe a little strong on the pickles. Yeah, but it's but it's I would say that it's a muted pickle flavor if you think about what pickle chips taste like. Sure. You know what I mean? Like a pickle chip yeah. is overwhelmingly pickle this is like pickle minus five with some like almost like a smoothness or a creaminess maybe that's the cheese that i'm getting yeah. i mean i think i think the pork is not super prevalent on it but you know it's i think again. the pork is there on on the back end like i'm sort of like there's a, like a lingering pork in my mouth boy this let's is see, gonna uh, be- see how it pairs with the guava <laughs> i think that's the mistake <laughs> Okay, yeah, Jared. Not, great. not a good choice. Um, let's get down to brass tacks. Is this a yeah. positive or a negative experience? Are you doping it I, or doping it? The people want to know. I, huh? people I am going to say that this is a positive experience because, like I said, this is in the ballpark of a Cuban sandwich if you've had one. So it's going to give you that experience. 
it's there. Um, a little more crunch. I don't know that this is one where I'd eat a lot of them. Right. I but think if you're at a party and somebody puts a, a bowl oh, yeah. of these out, you take a couple. I'd be like, oh, what is that? Well, I'm getting like, is this like a fancy pickle chip? And somebody yeah. would say, no, that's a Cuban sandwich. I'd be like, yes, it is. You're right. It's absolutely. I don't know that you'd yeah. pick it out with if you didn't know that it was that, but I think it's good. Do you have a handful of them or, you know, a few of them and, and you yeah. have a good time? I don't, I think this is something you share with friends. I don't think this is one you keep to yourself. This is not a put it in the regular rotation. And I'm going to say Correct. something. I like the fact that they chose wavy. I like a ripple chip better than a Hell yeah. weird flat chip. Or whatever I agree. those, whatever 100%. those things are. I think you could get rid of the regular lays altogether and just have wavy lays. I'd be perfectly happy. Um, so I think that the chip, wow. the way it uh, is, uh, the the flavors are transported better on this chip. Um, I, I sort of agree with you. Like it's approximates the flavor of a Cuban sandwich to some degree. Mm -hmm. It doesn't insult my my palate, and I think that it does a better job of being more like a sandwich than the BLT. The BLT chips, which were just like seasoned. This is a little bit closer. And as a novelty chip, I think it works. So scope dope for me. Yeah, scope dope. We did it. All Adam, right. keep on the lookout for them. I think they're worth the experience. Right. Adam, I'm going to let you pick the next item. Do you want a drink or do you want a treat? Um, we should probably end on a, on a drink. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't All know. right, yeah, that's fair. Fair with no, me. No, 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 no. Nope. Sorry, I think we say? should end. I forgot what was left. We should end <laughs> on uh, uh, on the last thing, last food. So let's, okay. let's do the drink next. So let's go to let's go Woo! let's go to a drink that we've had a real hate hate relationship through our taste <laughs> testing process. We've always been critical of the Coca Cola Creations line. Every single thing we've had has been gross. Uh, we don't know what to make of it. It's been strange. It's always been like Coca-Cola mixed with other weird stuff. But guess what? Coke's back to try it again with Coca-Cola <laughs> Ultimate. Look at this. So here is uh, here's the very verbose text from Coca-Cola. Um, Experience Coca-Cola Ultimate, the latest Coca-Cola creation sparkling beverage to match make with the shelves. Join as Coca-Cola Creations and League of Legends, Adam, come together to unlock Coca-Cola's ultimate XP flavor. The limited edition flavor made in co-creation with Riot Games takes the recognizable Coca-Cola taste and adds the electrifying taste of XP. I mean, you are you know what XP is. So I've you, heard that you know word what before. that tastes like. Mm -hmm. Whether gaming or watching, reach out for an ice-cold Coca-Cola ultimate to celebrate your fandom. Try the XP before the game is over. So um, when you copy pasted this text and printed it out or whatever you did with it, yeah. you somehow lost the uh, the plus before the XP. Yeah, I because it's not is, you're not just getting XP, you're getting plus XP. I ignored that. I didn't I didn't know if I was supposed to say plus XP. Oh, it's there like six times. It's plus okay. XP. Okay, it's plus XP. Is this is this relevant to uh, League of Legends gamers? I have no idea. Yeah. Could so be. one thing, one review I read of this said that there might be a faint hint of peach which i know is a flavor that's definitely associated with league of legends yes and i don't know if that's <laughs> true undoubtedly <laughs> yeah i mean the thing is like we've read reviews of all these coca-cola creations and none of them match up with what people say it tastes like you right know, we all so disagree is, every time this is just ostensibly supposed to be coca-cola with, with plus xp yeah okay. that could be I anything wanna, literally I set could be my anything. expectations correctly here we go. Get the the, the quality of the. I, literally, it smells like Coca Cola to me, Adam. Doesn't it? There's something else in the. Yeah, in the there's smell. something it smells like funky. Coke. There's something funky uh, in there Adam, too. That's the plus XP. <laughs> <sighs> here we go. I'm going in. Okay, here we go. Drink it smells, it just smells like Coke. Drinky, drinky. Let's hope they call it, it League, stinky, stinky. guys. You, Let's you call it League. Say it, just League. Do they call it LOL? No, just League. Just League. It's just League. Because if you know, you know, right? I K Y Y K. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense? I don't really understand why they would do this. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. So it's it is ultimately. I mean, nice ultimate words there. It is overwhelmingly <laughs> just Coca Cola. 
But there is something. Yeah. And I know it's supposed to be the plus XP, but I'm trying to, you know, be a little bit more. <laughs> You're really stuck on the plus. Trying to be a little bit more specific in what plus yeah. XP is bringing to the party <laughs> other than just ultimate flavor. This would be a nightmare as a taste tester. Like, how would you even describe this? You know, when they're coming up with this flavor, how do you describe what this is? You know, you mentioned peach, and I am getting a little bit of peach. I don't sure, know that I would have. I don't know that I would have picked it out if you hadn't mentioned it. But there is exactly definitely what I was something there. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't. I, calling this ultimate edition is a bit of a stretch. Right. I I would just say this. Um, to me. The base flavor for Coca Cola is my favorite. My favorite drink. I mean, cherry Coke is my favorite drink, and this, you know, the thing about cherry Coke is the cherry is very strong and very specific, but yet it sort of captures the essence of the name. Yeah, this just tastes like a weird, like generic version of a Coca Cola. You know, like you know, uh, you don't think it's the ultimate Coca Cola? Yeah, it's like even it's though it's like, right there on the name. It's like Hyvie Cola or something like that. You know, it just, it's strange. If, if they are trying to inject another flavor into it, like a peach, then you got to go for peach, right? I mean, or if you're trying to inject a nut, some sort of flavor, it needs to be predominant in the drink. And it's not. Sure. Everything gets lost in a big muddle that just makes it taste like an inferior Coca-Cola. Another fail from Coca-Cola Creations, in my opinion. So, no. Boo. If uh, if someone were to pour this uh, from like a two liter bottle, or if I were to dispense this from an unmarked fountain, I would be hard pressed to identify this as anything other than bog standard Coca Cola. Uh, for something that is the ultimate limited edition, I expect at least six to eight hours of additional gameplay, <laughs> and I'm not getting anything. It's just it's fancy Coke. It's not that's, even that's, it's. it's, it's it's a lesser Coke, Jared. It's not even that. It's not even fancy. It's Adam, it, it is lesser because you 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 went into this thinking, well, this is this is it's got a, a ultimate limited edition on the label. It's gold. <laughs> it's got a gradient. It's got a league tie-in and X, plus XP has been promised to me. Uh, and I'm just getting Coca Cola. I feel like I've been bamboozled. <laughs> not that I'm disappointed in not having Coca Cola. I'm disappointed that I'm not getting more than Coca Cola. And for that, yeah. it is a nope. It is a. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Jared, I love your Coca-Cola indignancy. It's beautiful. Adam? Well, uh, you, you, you label it Ultimate Limited Edition, and this is nothing more than just Coca-Cola. But it's limited. Sure. But not all. I hope you didn't pay extra is all I'm saying. Adam? Uh, yeah. Do you agree with this? Um, I hate this. Um, I don't get it, like we just said. There is a fruitiness to it. I think yeah. we have to agree with that i don't know why there is a fruitiness to it <laughs> don't know what's happening um yeah, it's a very strange fruitiness isn't it? yeah i just i just don't i just don't like it yeah let's, it's just upsetting let's kick it to the curb let's cleanse the palate and let's finish this sucker off with one last we item have a little water left this is an interesting. Swishy swish. Time ready? for dessert, folks. Time for dessert. We've got s'morios. Wow, s'morio! They did it. S'morios. Graham they flav- did it. Graham flavored cookies with marshmallow and chocolate flavored cream. It's another combo cream flavor, Jared. I know. I love it. So I'm I'm expecting chocolate and I'm expecting marshmallow in my cream. Is that what I'm? This is the, going. The, if you cookies open are it, are graham flavored. Yep. You can see that there's. The marshmallow, if you look at the side, it's on top of a chocolate coating. You've got a graham flavored cookie. Um, these are traditional s'mores flavor profile. Uh, by the way, s'mores are a, a particularly American thing. Like people in the UK have no idea what s'mores yeah, are. Yeah, definitely they not. They have no idea. That's so because very they didn't the have uh, uh, Seventh day Adventists inventing graham crackers as a replacement for masturbation. There we That's go. That's purely American. Yeah, that's that right. and cornflakes. Yep. So smelling it, I definitely get a graham smell, and I get a little bit of that fake marshmallow yeah. smell. It's mm. all there. Um, here, it's here. definitely much. It's more subtle than the uh, the chocolate cake one, whatever that was called, the mm-hmm. blackout cake. But uh, it's there. All right, going in. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. 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 So, the cookie is still, it still has a distinctive Oreo taste. And the Oreo it bites. Also, it's got an Oreo snap, Jared. Right, but the flavor is still Oreo, but it's also, it's like Graham-influenced Oreo. So it's, you're still faithful to the experience. Let's see if we can isolate some other flavors here. <laughs> I think you get, you definitely get that marshmallow that comes mm-hmm. through. You get a little chocolate. I mean, it tastes to me like you would expect a s'more to taste like in a, in a cookie form. Oh, Adam, you okay? <laughs> it's killing me. He's now, joking the, over there. The chocolate is a little more subtle. Fruit. The chocolate is a little one. more subtle than I would like. Yeah. The, I'm going to try mean, to get not, some. It's not chocolate heavy. Trying to get some marshmallow. Okay. Yeah. Marshmallow is tricky because it's, you know, it's in itself in its purest form, its original form. Marshmallow doesn't have a, you know, powerful flavor. So you, you get, you get that in this and it's almost like a little bit of that fake marshmallow that you might get in a candy or in a cereal or something like mm-hmm. that. But, um, and we've Adam, tried some other marshmallow treats in the past that have tried to imitate that flavor. Yeah. Unsuccessfully. Unsuccessfully. So, Adam, we'll start with you. Uh, I mean, you almost lost your life trying to eat this cookie. You must yeah. have some really important things to say. The things I'll do for this podcast. Um, I like this a lot. Yeah. I would say together, I, like um, the individual flavors themselves might not be that great because I've had like small bites of just the cookie. It's like a bad graham cracker. Um, but... Uh, yeah, everything together. I would call this the total package of a off-brand or not off-brand. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what's it called? Oreo. A, a, a limited edition Oreo. Li- yeah, an off-brand name brand Oreo. There you go, <laughs> Jared. Follow him up. This is good. This is a very good cookie. Um, I would enjoy eating several of these, and I probably will have a couple more tonight. Um, it's not as good in my mind as the blackout cake one. That for me was an experience, but. This is definitely something I would uh, enjoy. And again, we're, we're looking at double cream application. So clearly that technology is being used to its uh, fullest. Um, a delicious alternate take on the Oreo cookie itself. No, yeah, this is a good one. It was a very solid experience. Well, and I, I mean, I just have to echo what both of you said. This, I think this is a fantastic novelty Oreo cookie. Um, as a matter of fact, it may be my favorite, you know, of the of all the Oreos that we've had throughout the year, more than the I, cotton I, candy because you really yeah, like that. one. I really like the cotton candy, but here's the deal: mm-hmm. the the flavors of an of a s'more are a bit more traditional. You know, like you got chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker. Cotton candy is sort of like this weird, you know, fake flavor in a way, right? I mean, it's not something that you normally you normally eat in this sort of format. So it's like you're getting an approximation of of that. Which I really like it, and I like the golden Oreo. But this, like as a s'mores flavored treat that is not a s'mores, this is as good as it gets. It's really, really tasty. I like it better than like the uh, gingerbread Oreo that we had. Uh, was it okay. last year, or the year before? Which was one of my favorites. I really, really like that. But I think this is better, and even more so than the cotton candy. This flavor should be a regular Oreo treat. Like they should have this. Should be on the shelves all year round. People would buy it like crazy. That's what I think. I'd say yeah, the, the, scope dope. the cotton candy. Yeah. Um, it's like I'd have you know two or three of them, yeah. but this I feel like I could eat like you know the whole bag. A sleeve. You're going to eat a sleeve yeah. of these things, one row, yeah. very easily. Yeah, it's just they go down easy. Um, they're great. They're great. And uh, Jared, if you come over this weekend, you can have a couple more. What do you say about that? That sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. So there we go. Let's uh, so let's do a recap. Um, we reviewed five food items the second time around. Uh, Jared and I said uh, dope to the Lay's Cuban sandwich. Uh, nope Hell to yeah. the uh, straight straight across the board. Why did they make this Mountain Dew <laughs> Caribbean? Nope. <laughs> S'mores, a big dope. Maybe one of the best reviewed items we've had ever in the history. Scope, nope, or scope, dope. Um, a big nope to the uh, Coke Ultimate. Fail, fail, fail. Why did they make this? <laughs> And a mixed review on the Blackout Cake Oreos didn't work for Adam. Jared thought it was decadent, and I thought it was a good chocolate cookie that approximated the flavor of chocolate cake. 
So there we have oh, it. Yeah. I think that, you know, in our, our most recent uh, batch of Scope Nope or Scope Dope, these food companies are getting better with these specialty flavors. Like we're liking more than we disliked, which was not always the case. Uh, the food companies are. The beverage companies have work to do. Yeah. I The day that we get a Coke, uh, Coke Ultimate, a Coke creation that is good, um, then we just we wrap it up because it, it hasn't even been close. There hasn't even been a borderline. They've all been terrible. I don't know. Oh, cool, we, cool we, we, like the, we like the Starlight one okay. I mean, there's been nothing that's been like, yes, this is good. Yeah. It's been like, yeah, this is all right. Yeah. I and never uh, mostly thought. it's been, this is terrible. Yeah. I think the problem is, is that yeah. you've got such a strong flavor with Coke itself with any time you try to mix it with something else. It's just you're you're not really doing it injustice. Mountain Dew is sort of this nebulous, like fruity type of flavor that you can do anything with. And half the time, the the Mountain Dew flavors don't taste anything like the original Mountain Dew. Right, it's exactly. Just, it's just something else. It's just a, it's just a, like a beautiful looking soda. So strange. Coke is trying to be too close to Coca Cola. Yep. And only subtly changing it. Mountain Dew is just like, we'll do whatever, whatever. Right. You're gonna buy it. You'll buy it. You'll buy it. We'll and put a, we'll put a some some pop art on it and give you some chance to win a Taco Bell gift card and you'll be there. We know it. Five hundred dollars. Hell yeah. Well, fantastic <laughs> job, guys. I know this has been a long long time coming and uh how about we do this let's get to yep. the end let's wrap it up jared take yep. care of business there's more of the scope dead ahead not that much left tony partington ah uh, yes it's the end of the show thanks for sticking around folks thanks for listening to us uh drink and eat into the microphone i'm sure that was a treat for you on your afternoon walk if you watched us, that's great. You can see the packaging. You can see us uh, tear cookies apart with our teeth. That's always pleasant to see. Do you have comments? If you uh, thought some of the stuff we ate or drank was uh, good or bad, or maybe you're indifferent. Maybe you've left a comment on the uh, Oreo blackout cake comment form as well. Let us know. Comments at the Scope Show is the email, or you can hit us on the voicemail, 612-21-SCOPE. That is 612-217-2673. Please give us some voicemails. If you tell us, ask us a question or, or maybe leave a witty comment, uh, we'll play it here on the show. Uh, you can also reach out to us on social media. We're on a variety of the platforms, uh, some of which may still be active by the time this episode comes out. <laughs> Find out when you click on those links at our website, thescopeshow.com. You can also watch these episodes. As I said, you can watch us eat and drink stuff. I know this is a novel idea for the internet. Nobody's done it before. No. Uh, but we're changing the game. We're ahead of the curve, guys. YouTube.com slash thescopeshow. I think. If not, just click that link on the website. Uh, that is where you will see these videos. Uh, and if you want to support the show, patreon.com slash thescopeshow. It's the place to do it. Uh, you could just, you know, pledge a little money to help us out every month. Uh, as you know, we're doing the videos and software to do that doesn't, uh, doesn't grow on trees. If it did, uh, it would probably blow off in our stormy, stormy climate change induced weather. So we got to pay money for the good stuff. Help us out. Please Back stop you, talking Jared. about politics, Jared. We're so oh, tired yeah. of it. I come to listen to this podcast just for you guys. To I don't want politics in my middle-aged food-tasting podcast content. It's ridiculous. It's That's dis- it. That's all I got. I'm disgusted. Well, thank you uh, for doing such a great job. You're a master on the sound effects. I have a note on here hmm? to plug iTunes reviews. Okay. It's been a while since I've changed my notes. Yeah. Is iTunes review still a thing? You can still review stuff, yeah. Review us Apple. in your podcatcher of choice. Yeah. It's a Apple call podcast. to action, folks. Look into, it. Look into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. There we go. Perfect. And All click right, that ra- bell. <laughs> Smash that like button. Smash it. Jared. Look for the links down below, right Jared. below the like button. Jared. Yeah. Jared. Please Mm -hmm. play the end music. I can do that. All right, for Jared Adams. Right after this segue to our sponsor. We'll be back soon with more scope. Until then, bye for now. Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves once again at the end. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. I know I have. Fear not, Scope Faithful. Days shall pass as if they were but a moment. And Jared, Adam, and Shane will return with another thrilling episode. Until then, send your comments to comments at thescopeshow.com 
or leave a voicemail message by dialing 612-21-SCOPE. That's 612-217-2673. Thanks for listening, faithful fans. This is Tony Partington saying... Buenas tardes. Tune in next time to another terrific edition of The Scope. Scope.